like a dream. It's about to become a nightmare. Hey there, it's Brittany Bun. Today we're gonna have some fun with Amanda the Adventurer. So this is gonna be part three of this video, and if you didn't catch the first two parts, I'll link it down below. Um, also, thank you for the attention on those videos. Uh, I honestly didn't expect that it was gonna do well, but it's always a pleasant surprise when a video ends up doing better than I thought, because I had my expectations low. But I noticed when I was watching other people play this game that they were finding these tapes these colored tapes I found one I found an orange one and I thought it was just referencing those old Nickelodeon tapes you know the ones the ones that were orange and they're just so cool why don't they do that anymore yeah I was watching someone play and then they got a blue tape and I'm like how did they get a blue tape and then they got a red tape and then they got a green tape and I'm like where are y'all getting these tapes and I felt so dumb I was thinking how did I overlook that and then when I looked at the guide it turns out that it's actually pretty difficult to figure out how to get these tapes um so I'm gonna try to get all those tapes today so I'm hoping that the story will make a lot more sense getting all those tapes because uh, I'm so not sure what the story is um, if you end up liking the video please give it a like like you know just hit that like button you know caress it kiss it care for it cherish it do the same for the subscribe button while you're there so yeah let's get started this long dashy intro that I'm doing first tape that we're gonna try to get is the red tape which is pretty simple. It looks like we had to play everything normal up until a certain point. I don't know, this guy isn't really clear. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna do our best. I'll probably skip really far ahead. Oh wait, actually I saw something that there are certain answers that if you change, it has like a little bit of, they have like a little Easter egg. This one, Amanda asked, what's your favorite pie? So we're gonna put mud in and see what happens. Mm, that sounds delicious. Oh apple no, pie. I feel bad. Lily really looks so sad and worried. Mm -hmm. He gave Amanda that bombastic side eye. Okay, they were making an apple pie. Let me see if I actually, that might not be right. Oh, wow, I actually got it. Nice, I'm a gamer. Great, I found the perfect card. Um. Kate? Great work! Like, I really want to know what the story is with Kate. Now, this one is how we're going to get the red tape. When Amanda asks who can help when you're hurting, you put nobody. Which is kind of messed up. <laughs> you're probably right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Red tape? Oh! Oh, wait. This is for the blue? The blue tape. Oh, okay, this guide is misleading. <laughs> it said I'm supposed to find the red tape, but unless I am colorblind, this is blue. So let's see what's inside this tape. It looks like it's called the sad truth. Oh wait, no, no, I'm wrong. Ignore me. Hello? <gasps> oh wait, it like, it's like real. Is that the real Amanda? Oh, she looks so cute. Look at her swinging her legs. Uh, it looks like she's like signing something, but I don't see a parent or a guardian around. What is she saying? Oh my gosh, it's so blurry. I can't see. Uh-uh. Yeah, he's like, uh, make sure you sign out your full legal name. What the heck? Her dad better be out there. Does does her dad know what, what she's signing? Oh, okay. Oh wait, this is uh, March 8, 2002, around 2.50. Is that her mom? I don't think so. They're about to kill her. Wait, what is that? What kind of room is that? It looks like a, 
an engineering room <laughs> or something. Okay, that is sussy AF. Let me see what next we gotta do on the guide. I don't know if this guide is accurate because it's telling me like the, the different tapes, but they're saying the wrong color. <laughs> like there's one tape that I know for a fact is supposed to be orange. Now, this one should give us a different ending. All right, now, if I remember correctly, this one, Amanda asks, What's the daddy chicken called? The answer is supposed to be rooster, but for this secret tape, you're supposed to type in Sam, which is, if I remember, it's the real Amanda's adopted father. Adopted father. Y you know what I mean. Wait, <gasps> what did you say? Ooh. How do you... <laughs> Ooh, she did not like that answer. Can you... I hate, I hate that tape because Amanda gets so creepy with that one. All right, this is a red tape, even though it's not supposed to get a green tape, but whatever, <laughs> it's fine. All right, I bet this one, it should be related to her dad because it was talking about- It's been Fox. three weeks since <gasps> local television producer no, Sam Colton missing. was reported missing and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public okay. access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Mm. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As <gasps> oh. budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Oh. Hamlin's okay. acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel oh. these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. Bro, they I mean, got real people. I walked people. in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impression <laughs> I mean, What kids. is that? I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. Hmm. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. Man. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We Wait. cannot speculate on abandonment. his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. Hmm. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. He's dead. We will share any future updates they as the story him. develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Zappo? Dude. It's me, your friend, Skip. And with uh, me, as always, is my trusty dog. Can we skip this? The effort that they put into that, I really admire that. That was kind of a bit to process. Let me think. Okay, so Sam Colton went missing. Obviously, the company killed him. I mean, he was probably asking way too many questions and they were like, uh, we gotta get rid of him. Just kill him, bury the body somewhere. Uh, we got his daughter, so that's about all we need. I think it was over here, or it did it change? Yeah, it did change. But there was a newspaper clipping where Sam had an interview with someone and he was talking about the show how it was originally and I think it was like a live action show it was low production but the star of the show was his daughter Rebecca so the show I think originally it was like it was a good show it was like nice and wholesome but now that Hamlin took over the show made it a cartoon they just changed it to some kind of mind control thing because his that one dad that was doing the interview, he's like, they're telling my kids that they shouldn't listen to their, their parents. Like, what is that? Oh, and then like, I don't know if you remember, but in the orange tape, there was this kid that was watching the TV and her parents were trying to get her attention. And she just kept staring at the TV and she was like hypnotized by it. And then all of a sudden the kid is gone. Her parents run off to 
go find her. We got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. I love mint chocolate chip. So Amanda is alive inside the TV, but how did they do that? <laughs> oh, the guide says the colors of the tape may be different than those below if you collect them in a different order. Oh, I'm sorry. I was <laughs> I was being so hard on this guide. I am so sorry. What is a family? Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to like speed run this one. What a cute Dude, Amanda can control Wooly because the way she looked at him and then he made like the 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 what's the what's the sheep? When the sheep makes a sound, bleeding? Yeah, he made a bleeding sound. And I am Wooly, but you just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Wow. Uh, yeah. You sound just like me. You know how many times I've watched this tape? <laughs> Truly losing my mind. <laughs> please, please, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Everything rots, okay? Uh, I don't know how I ended up here. Now we're going to set the oven to 425 for 40 minutes. But instead of an apple pie, we're gonna make a peach pie, which was somewhere around the corner. Ooh, yay, we got a green tape. All right. Now let's see what's on this tape. I'm so excited. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, coffee break with Sadie Copper. Welcome to Coffee Break. <gasps> Man, that Today is so I'm cool when they have Sam real people. Cole, the creator I love of the that. hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. Okay, so and this I have is to say, Sam. a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. <laughs> Oh, I, I love his mannerisms. If you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Come on, Sam, you idiot. You started producing Amanda the Adventure right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total <laughs> surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. Okay, you know so this is, is how it was originally. A little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Oh, that was kind of <laughs> passive aggressive. Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. Mm. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion. <gasps> Kate! I think she's talked about it at every single story time. Kate. I think it's just so rare oh nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. Aww. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. <laughs> Not anymore. She's the light of my <laughs> life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. Hmm. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? Okay, I've the cartoon. I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream. It's about to become a nightmare. The idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam. Thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions. Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, <laughs> Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Aww, so sweet, Sadie. 
to get it. Everything comes. I'll do that by the first time. It's one of those cookies. Uh huh, yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Recap Sam is the adoptive father of Rebecca. Rebecca is the voice of Amanda the Adventurer. Two shows. One was a live action, the other is a cartoon that hypnotizes little kids. Oh, there was something else. Kate. Oh, Aunt Kate! How did I not make that connection before? This letter that was addressed to us in the beginning, she has to be related to Rebecca somehow. Maybe they're like cousins or something. And Kate, like it said in the tape, is a librarian. I know most of the people around here don't believe in the kind of work we do. Not at the library, the other kind of work. That's some spam number calling me. This whole thing was her trying to figure out what's going on with the TV show. Like, I'm starting to understand the story. Um, okay, so the next one is the, the In Your Neighborhood tape. We're going to um, watch someone else do it. We're gonna try to see if we can get, well, I mean, we're gonna watch someone <laughs> get this ending because there, there are just so many steps you have to do. This is by Bandon. Again, thank you Bandon the last time for helping us get that one ending. Let's see what this ending is. Because it looks different. I don't think we've seen this one. All right, some kind of building. I don't know what that says. Oh wait. Rebecca, that was wait, Go back. Oh wait, re oh, recording? Recording something, please. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Okay. Bye, Tongue twisters? Pie man. Pie man. Pie man. Pie lamb. Pie lamb. Pie. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? What? <laughs> I want this to stop. So, um, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I now. don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The uh, man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... <laughs> that person tried so fast to get out of there. Hold on. Rewind. Or the no. Okay, there's something I saw. Yeah, that. This script is specially tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. Uh, that sounds like an AI or something for a kid show. Wait, I need I need more information. To train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? It does sound like he made that up on the spot. Honestly. So, um, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? They're about to kill him. We got a few more of these. No, this is where he was last seen. Rebecca, what's wrong? Okay, and Rebecca's talking, talking to, to someone who is not the there. The man in the headphones. This man. She's the upset. man in the headphones. And, uh, and this this person right here, they probably got fired and then killed. I think this is the the last one. But I'm just like because there there are so many different endings, and then there's these secret tapes. So I just need to like, I gotta like brainstorm like what this all means, but maybe the, the last tape will help. All right. Now, this is like uh, one of those tapes that I think he had to like change the game code, which <laughs> I couldn't even get the last ending. So can't imagine trying to get this one too. Okay, so it's just Wooly sitting there. This is the whole tape. <laughs> so, um, how, how, how are you doing today? Is he just like, he's just waiting. Was he? <laughs> Scratch his butt. Wait, maybe it's like, it's like he's waiting for the show to start, I guess? Oh. Why did he do that at the same exact time I was about to skip ahead? Heard of mouth. 
with Wooly the sheep. I just, I just want to understand. I just want to understand the story. Okay, so let, let's think about the information that we do have. Our name is Riley. Our Aunt Kate gave us all of this. She wanted us to do an investigation on Amanda the Adventurer, the cartoon. Sam Colton is the adoptive father of Rebecca, who he gave the alias Amanda for the Amanda the Adventurer show, the original one which was inspiring to everyone and talked about the wonders of children imaginations and it was a, a well-loved show but then hamlin took the show and changed it they made rebecca sign away her rights when sam wasn't present maybe that one room that they took her in that was like when they first started to do like that ai stuff Sam clearly didn't like what was going on, so he's like, hey, I don't like the, these tongue twisters you're making my daughter doing. I, I don't like this AI nonsense. Like, you gotta stop. And then all of a sudden, Sam goes missing, and we all know that Hamlet had something to do with it because Sam was getting in the way of the success of their show. So it's like they were creating some kind of AI to imitate her voice because he, he's like oh it's, it's just the, the whoa what was that and the the tv show it became something else controlling kids minds making them disappear walk out on their family there was that one ending where uh i think it was like this the sunrise kind of ending where the tv just starts going berserk and it seems like amanda is trying to get out the screen so it's like amanda is like her own entity in a way because she was literally breaking the fourth wall trying to get out of the screen. It's like she's she's trapped there, like an actual thing. And now, now with these endings, so this ending, she becomes a monster. I don't even know how to begin to explain that. I'm, it's she she literally came out of the TV and was just like this I don't know, maybe she she got corrupted inside the show and that was just the form that it took. The meat market one. I don't really understand it. I always found it like really weird. The angle was like this. The meat market, you can see like all the meats hanging about and they all had eyes. They all had eyes and we were in the corner and it seemed like we were suspended in air, which was just, it was like a weird angle. It was like we were above the ground. So like, what if that was like, like Sam? Or like, no, 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 no. Maybe like all the other kids that died, that could be it too because there were there were so many meats that had eyes on them so those could all be people and this one that was when amanda was like friends share everything and she wanted to share a secret a secret with us and this line always stayed with me because i found it so creepy she said i'm out there somewhere and then there is a there's another line she said somewhere oh yeah it was the the everything rots tape she said Times I feel myself rotting, but it feels far away. Oh no, I'm about to cry. <laughs> no, she's dead. Rebecca's dead. Like Hamlin, they made that AI thing. They were imitating her voice for a reason. Rebecca's not going to be young forever, so they gotta ensure a way that their show can last forever and that would be by imitating her voice taking her voice on some ursula so eventually they probably got rid of rebecca altogether especially like if she was going through the mental trauma of not having her father around who already adopted her so like wow she's losing another parent so they had to have stolen her voice they killed her, but because it's like literally her as Amanda in the show, they're still connected some way and they still like have memories, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like Amanda, she, she has memories, but like it's all scrambled to her or she, she suppresses it somehow. And then I remember there's like another part where she was really upset that the meat market kept appearing. And I never understood that at the time, but I get it because the meat market, that's probably where she ended up or where she got chopped up because she said, sometimes I feel myself rotting. Oh my gosh. Knowing that, like, just like the idea of that just makes me so sick. <laughs> she can still feel her other self and she's out there 
Which means they, they never found her. Probably never found Sam either. Oh my gosh. The one ending that I couldn't get where it was the um, the guy that suddenly appeared right here during an alternate version of this ending. That guy, I feel like he probably worked for the Hamlet company and he's like, what are you doing up here? <laughs> You're not supposed to be up here. What are you doing here, this child? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he probably worked for Hamlin and Riley's probably next. You can't crouch in this game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me see what Reddit says. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up. So this Reddit post says, Amanda names off three real demons from the Lesser Key of Solomon while she's in a recording booth at Hamlin Studios, seen in one of the secret tapes. Hello? She was naming demons? Like, what did she say? She said Pie Man. Pie Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> amazing game oh, this game is so sad because you know at, at the start it was really it was pretty scary really creepy but now now i just feel so bad for rebecca and what she had to go through them taking advantage of her innocence taking away her father and then in the end taking away her life Ugh, this girl i am i am sorry I am sorry for all the terrible things I said to you and always making you mad. <laughs> it feels nice to actually know what what's going on because before I, I was so confused on the story. I was thinking she got kidnapped. Please, if you have any theories or if I miss anything, please comment down below because I, I just want to know everything about what the story has to offer. Like, I, I have to know everything. Let me know your thoughts, theories concerns comments anything if you like the video please give it a like and if you like to see more videos like this or any of the other videos on my channel go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching thank you for being here and i'll see you in the next video bye oh poor amanda i am so sorry oh okay